Shalom, Kahalo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Mikar, Kodash, Double Honors to the Elder Apostles and the Elder Bishops of GMS, including the elders that came before them, that taught us this truth. And Shalom and salutations to all the brothers that are pushing the word of truth and in sincerity. The hopeful elect tabernacle of David. Shalom and salutations to all the Akwath out listening and learning. All right. Just a quick lesson on this hella day that we're in today. Uh, and bring some clarity to, uh, you know, the differences that are in Israel. Because even though we are Israelites, right, some people don't understand the divisions that the Most High has in place. So we're going to start right here at Romans 9 and 6, right? Not as though the word of the Most High hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel, okay? Read it up here. Uh, NIV, it is not as though the Most High's word has failed, for not all who are descended from Israel are Israel. So that's a division, right? And that division, the Most High is, is not uh, unidirectional, is the term I'll use right now. The most high is, is <laughs> you can't even try to describe or uh, to, uh, you know, his thoughts are not your thoughts. We'll just put it that way. So uh, I ran across this uh, video going into the 4th of July. Apparently it was made a year ago by the, this is the channel Madison Silura, right? And it says, Zion Kids Productions drops a powerful mini doc on the hypocrisy of July 4th, okay? Now, I'm gonna play this and I have to preface it by saying I don't agree with everything that the kids of Zion, uh, Zion Kids Productions is putting forth here. And, you know, we'll spit out the bones, all right? So, uh, but a lot of what they're saying, you know, pertains to this day, so we'll go ahead and watch it, all right? So take it away, and I'll stop it and explain what I mean. <laughs> of African Americans celebrating July 4th is evident. Even though it is called Independence Day, 20% of the population was enslaved. When these so-called freedom fighters signed the Declaration of Independence, they held hundreds of Hebrews captive in slavery. Okay, so now already I'm going to start. It's only four minutes. So. All right, so they call us African Americans, one. Then they call us Hebrews, right? Well, Esau is a Hebrew, all right? Uh, Ishmael is a Hebrew, right? There's a lot of different Hebrews. So going into the divisions of Israel, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Now, really, when you get into the depth of that uh, uh, precept, uh, the divisions go to what? The elect of Israel. They are not all the elect of Israel that are of Israel. How about that? All right. That's the, the biggest, the most important separation of all Israel is the elect. Okay. Now, just we're going to use this to look at some of these divisions. Okay. So let's start it again. And they're going to say African-Americans. They're going to say uh Hebrews, right? They're going to use black a lot, all right? They're going to mention <clears throat> so like Juneteenth, which is a satanic holiday. What has Juneteenth got to do? Where is Juneteenth in the scriptures? All right? So you can best believe that uh, the devil created that thing, all right? All right, here we go again. <laughs> The 
the irony of African Americans celebrating July 4th is evident. African Americans. Though it is called Independence Day, 20% of the population was enslaved. When these so-called freedom fighters signed the Declaration of Independence, they held hundreds of Hebrews captive in slavery. Hebrews. Hundreds of Hebrews. Well, Esau is a Hebrew. Hundreds of Hebrews captive in slavery, whom they also imported illegally from West Africa. The hypocrisy of this widely celebrated holiday in the United States is in its very name. July 4th is a celebration of kidnapping, transporting, buying and selling human beings, separating families, torture, whippings, rapes, castrations, lynching, and enslavement. Hebrews should not be celebrating July 4th because it is a slap in the face to our ancestors who had to endure horrible treatment and the vicious enslavers. We should be celebrating our resilient ancestors who fought for their freedom, like on Juneteenth. What has this got to do with being an Israelite? Okay, this is more the same of us in, in captivity. We should be celebrating our captivity at any level. No. We should be understanding who we are all the way to its superlative, which is the elect of Israel. All right? and we should be warning each other and teaching each other, even though we're not all going to come to the, the knowledge of, uh, of the understanding of truth. For more information on Juneteenth, be sure to check out our Juneteenth video. Despite the claim in the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal, about 500,000 black men... Black? Okay, so we got Hebrew, we got black, right? Uh, African American. All right, which one is it? Women and children were enslaved in the 13 colonies in 1776. In that same year, the declaration, which led to the official creation of this nation, was formally adopted by the Continental Congress on July 4th, two days after its members voted to approve it. And during that time, slavery was legal in each of the 13 colonies, which is obvious since 27 of the 56 white male property owners who signed the Declaration of Independence enslaved black people by holding them... Enslaved black people, right? Well, uh, Hamites are black, all right? And uh, Edomites are Hebrews. So you got to get your terms right, all right? Look at the look on Jake's face. Jay got the look of terror in his eyes. He's terrified. He don't know what's going to happen before the picture, during the picture, or after. After the picture, he'd probably get raped. Is this a girl or a boy? Right? And what is this? What is in this devil's mind? Right? Fucking Ichabod. Well, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ichabod Crane? Anyway, um, we'll carry on. Shipping them or investing them, investing in their forced labor. By the way, Jefferson drafted some say. Look at the look in this devil's eye. That's the look of the devil right there. Proud devil. Beady. Right? The Jefferson, the Indian killer, right? Well, who are the Indians that he killed? The so-called blacks, yeah? Tell the truth. They derived the Declaration of Independence from the Iroquois people until 107. They just said that he uh, plagiarized that, uh, the Declaration of Independence from the Iroquois, and then they show uh, Gad Right, not looking like Negroes, but Gab was a bunch of Negroes too. By the way, Jefferson drafted, some say plagiarized the Declaration of Independence from the Iroquois people, killed 175 black human beings in bondage in 1776. Black human beings, or maybe the Indians he was killed. He increased that number to 267 by 1822. He also engaged in a pedophilic relationship with an enslaved girl named Sally Higgins. Also, the American flag wasn't even designed by the American government, or Betsy Ross, or Mary Pickersgill. 
who was designed by 13 year old Ace Fisher, because he kidnapped indentured servant slash slave. Such racist duplicity is what compelled Frederick Douglass in 1852 to give a speech entitled The Meaning of July 4th for the Negro. Now wait, what? Who who's this? Frederick Douglass? More on him later. Alright. Uh, he Frederick Douglass is doing all this speaking for the Negro, right? Why is Frederick Douglass famous to this day? Why do we know about Frederick Douglass? Right? In that unmasking and explosive elocution, he thundered, What to America? What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, the day that reveals to him more than all the other days in the year the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is sham, your boasted liberty and unholy license, your national greatness swelling vanity. Your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your shouts of liberty and equality hollow mockery, fraud, deception, and hypocrisy. A thin veil to cover up the crimes which would disgrace a nation of savages. There is not a nation on earth guilty of the practices more shocking and bloodier than there are of the white people of the United States. Where's the shackles on, on Frederick Douglass? Is he a slave? Now you know the latest meaning of July 4th, you're no longer ignorant. Therefore, if you still choose to reject blackness and embrace whiteness on July 4th, you have moved on to you. Pride in being black. It's an expression of my pride in being black. Pride is wrong, black is wrong, all right? Black is your downfall, pride. The remnants to being a traitor. Celebrating an oppressive, historically oppressive holiday is closely giving them aid and comfort at your expense. Stop celebrating white supremacy slash white savagery and celebrating black self-respect. Black self-respect. Praise who? Praise who? Praise he, right? So this shows you what kind of Israelites these are. These are Yah Israelites, okay? That don't have the truth, okay? They said, stop celebrating what? Listen to this last part. Don't be a traitor. Stop celebrating what? Listen, listen close. Being an ignoramus to being a traitor. Celebrating an oppressive, historically oppressive holiday is closely giving them aid and comfort at your expense. Stop celebrating white supremacy slash white savagery and celebrating black self-respect, black revolution. Praise Yah. Okay. Praise Yah. Wait a minute. Credits written by Muhammad. Muhammad Jr., right? Coward. Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. That sounds like a little Islam there. All right, so anyway, back to this guy. Who's that? But you're praising. You're praising this guy, right? Who are you celebrating? Why is this guy famous? Why are we made to look at old Frederick Douglass as somebody to be uh, revered, if you will. Well, let's do a little search. Freddie Frederick Douglass. Parents. You know where I'm going with this. Frederick Douglass' parents. Uh-oh. Who's that? Born Frederick Attic, uh, Augustus Washington Bailey, a slave in Tuckahoe Talbot County, Maryland. Mother is a slave, Harriet Bailey, and father is an evil. Rumored to be his master. Is that him? Is that his daddy? Hmm. 
Look at Frederick Douglass whitewash right there. Look at that. <laughs> or he might have, that might have been him. Okay, so anyway, here's my point. This guy's a tear. All right? And usually when you go back and you see somebody that they're telling us, see, we are given our heroes. Okay? We are given our heroes. All right? And the heroes that they give us, right, are on their side. Well, why would Frederick Douglass be on the side of the devil? Because Frederick Douglass is a devil. All right? They said, rumored to be his master, right? But definitely, all right? Now, could his master be a Jake? Could be like Bob Marley or, or that whole situation. But this has to be considered. Who is who, for that matter? All right. And how did, uh, if Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey was a slave, how did he become Frederick Douglass, right? Our hero, our black hero in the 1800s. Who put him there, right? Who promoted him? Just like uh, your boy, uh, Martin Luther King. Who promoted, who put him, who made him famous? Who made, uh, what's his name? Chicago Red, what's his name? Uh, uh, Malcolm X. Who made Malcolm X famous? Who did Malcolm X uh, work for? What's this? M-A-L-C-O-L-M? Malcolm X, the thinker. What does this pose mean? Malcolm X, the thinker. What is the thinker? Look at the thinker. Who's the thinker? He's a thinker. He's a thinker. Look at this. What does this mean? The thinker. Right? Malcolm X, the thinker. What is the thinker? What does it mean, the thinker? Let's find out. If they're going to bring it out. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, no, they're not going to bring it up. Thinker. And why do they have, okay, there's the thinker. This is the bust, all right? Masonry and its symbols in the light of thinking. Are they going to show it? Let's go here. You're going to show the Illuminati pose? Masonry and its symbols. Used to be you can uh, look things like this up. Right. Okay, so let's see. Masonic pose, the thinker. See, they just got the bust. Show, show the book. What is it? Morals and dogma. What is it called? Book of Masonic Poses. Yeah, they've done a lot of exposed. You see the book. Shows a bunch of poses like this. What is it called? 
sign of the master of the second veil. See, in the book of Masonic poses, right? Here we go. Where's the thinker at? Right there, see? So all these poses mean something, right? In, in your fraternal order or whatever. And they're doing a good job of hiding it right now. But so there's one called the hidden hand, right? So when you got Abraham Lincoln sticking his hand in his coat like this, he's showing you that he's a Mason. When you got a nigga pointing at his temple, right? Scratching temple. What, what, what did Tretch sing? OPP is not that simple. A nigga scratching temple. That's what this is. Okay? The thinker, right? This is called the hidden hand. This is called I surrender. Put your hands up. Shh. Okay? You can walk into a courtroom and give the right sign and let them know that you're on their side, and they'll excuse you. Yeah, you got oh, Codex Magica. Okay. Uh, Codex. Magica, the thinker, pose. They're still not going to show it. See, all of these, uh, this is the book Codex Magica. Did I spe spell it right? Looks like I did. Uh, poses. He's actually pointing at his temple right there, for the record. Some more. I'm looking for. Anyway, it's in there. They just got it a little more well hidden than they used to. Sign of a mark master. Bear with me, I'm just, you know, I'm on a tangent right now. Okay, so anyway, this is the thinker. Right? And where they are hiding it right now, it used to be more readily available on the internet. They got it well hidden. This is one. We can find Malcolm doing this. And, um, even uh, the one where you fold your arms, right? Um, where's the one where you fold your arms? This. Okay. First sign and super excellent master mason degree. Okay, look at that. You see this? What does this look like? Okay, so we'll go from there to here. Um, okay. uh, 
statue. The MLK statue. Not that one, not that one. See, they got a. Now you're hiding it. Where's the famous statue? Whoa. What's he doing? What is that? He's showing you that he's a master mason. Okay. What is that? He's one of them. All right. Now, where were we when all three of them were doing the thinker? Where did that go? Bear with me. the thinker. Mm, go do that in Photoshop. Let me see. So I can bear with me. This thing tries to hide, boy. Uh, anyway, the thing about Frederick Douglass, right? These people are given to us. This guy's a Hamite, first of all. Why are they doing the thinker? Who else is on here? Aussie Day. Who, who's on here? Who's this guy? That's a Hamite right there. See the one coming under? So these guys, right, your heroes, are letting you know. Right? Are these guys famous? Is this guy famous? He's famous. What apparatus does it take to become famous? The media. How do you become famous? The media. This guy uh, signed a record deal, which is an oath, right? To do what? To further the agenda of this devil. That's a Hamite. That's a Hamite. This Israelite right here, what happened to him? What happened to him? Assassinated. What happened to him? assassinated. What happened to him? Assassinated. Well, there's your Israelites right there. Uh, Hamite, Hamite. They were not assassinated. Anyway, we're just, you know, we're showing you the differences, okay? There, there, there are differences in, you know, in black people. They're all black, right? But that's an African, that's an African. These are Israelites, all right? That sold out, if you will. You got Israelites in 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 Israel, right? So-called in the truth with fringes on a t-shirt, right? That are not in the truth. Okay? Going back to what? They are not all. Uh, Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the Most High hath taken none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Right? Because some of them are blinded. What then? What then? Israel? Here's a separation. We'll end right here because I know it went long. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest, the rest of who? The rest of the Israelites. Here's the separation. The elect and the rest. We're blinded. The rest of we're blinded. The rest of the Israelites were blinded. Seven for three days. According as it is written, the Most High hath given them. Who's them? The two thirds. 
the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay, so that's a division in Israel. Not just who's a Hebrew. Esau's a Hebrew. My bruise, my bruise. Does that include Esau? Okay, so you have to have the 100% truth. And you have to push the 100% truth. Otherwise, you're celebrating heroes of the other nation. Right? Like uh, your force-given hero, Frederick Douglass, who's an Edomite. All right? And if he's not, if his uh, lineage doesn't go back to Edom, he's a damn traitor, right? Because he was given some riches, right? He was given some riches so that he'll turn his back, right, on Israel. I mean, when you come out and try to say, well, you those drive out, pop, pop, pop. Uh, I've seen the mountain, pop, 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 pop. Right? Uh, uh, this guy started singing about Israel. What did he start? He started out with some ska. Right? Then he started, uh-oh. He went out there and he learned, oh, we're 12 tribes. And he started pushing it up, pop, pop, pop. Or, here, nigga, here's some converse. All right? So anyway, uh, we get one more. Because I'm talking too much. You tell you to bring your new kitchen. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the lands that the Lord two parts there and shall be cut off and die. There's a division right there. Two parts. But the third, there's the division. The one third and the two thirds shall be left therein. But the one-third, the elect, shall be left therein, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear. Who is them that will call on his name? The one-third, the elect. I will, say it is, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. All right? The one-third, the elect. Okay, and then we can go to uh, Jacob's trouble and show you who's going to make it through, right? Uh, Jeremiah 30. It's the spirit. Started Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he, who's he? All Here you have all of Jacob. But he is talking about who? The one third. He shall be saved. Not all Jacob, but he that is the elect. And let's expound upon that. Let's go to Daniel. Uh, well, Daniel 12 and 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, all of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. What people? It's going to be specific. All of them? No. Every one that shall be found written in the book, the elect. There's the division. Okay. And we'll end on this, right? Matthew 24. In 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, there's the division. The one-third. Those days shall be shortened. Who? The one-third, the elect. All right? And that's how it's done. So... You got the Yah bruise, right? Well, guess what? They don't believe that the MOTB is, is the CEO, right? 
So they were blinded, and the rest were blinded. You've fallen into that two-third category. All right, so anyway, the moral of the story is no, you knew. Let's get that real quick. Ah, one more. We know who we Salvation is of who? You got to know who you worship. We worship you. How about Shimei Shai? John 4 and 22. Ye worship, you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Okay? The elect. Salvation is of the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Who's going to be saved? But the election hath obtained it. All right? So, for those of you who have ears to hear and eyes to see, we hope that the elect are edified, you brothers and sisters, professionally.